I have another flashlight review for you today. This time it is the Wuben G2. Turns out this is much more than just another keychain flashlight. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, before we get started, I just want to say thank you to Wubin for sending me this flashlight so that I could share it with you. All right, as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for the G2. I'll go over its physical and performance specifications. I'll go over its modes of operation. And then we'll do some testing. Plus, I have a bonus review I want to share with you as well. Just before we get started, I thought I'd show you the box that the flashlight came in, as well as its accessories. So just a small plastic box. Inside is the manual and warranty information, as well as a very short USB Type-C charging cable. Good to have, of course. Now, the other accessory that came with the light is attached to it right now, which is a pocket clip, which I'll demonstrate in a minute is removable. But I have decided to leave it on, and I'll explain why in a few minutes time. All right, let's go over some of the key features for the Wubin G2. So to begin, it at its maximum, it has a 500 lumen output, which is pretty impressive. Now it's a very wide floodlight beam. It's not a search beam by any means, but as you'll see when we start the testing, it's more than effective for the type of tasks that you would use a keychain light for. It has a magnetic tail cap, which of course I'll demonstrate as well. A detachable key ring, which makes it very, very convenient. When I said it's more than just a keychain flashlight, this is part of the reason why it comes right off if you need to remove it and use it. A removable pocket clip, as I mentioned. It has a built Built in 200 and milli at 280 milliamp battery, which is non-replaceable to the best of my knowledge. It has a type C charging port right in the very top. And they are available in three colors to suit your desires. This one is in green, but they do also come in blue and in black. All right, let's go over the physical specifications for the G2. So the weight of this light is a scant one ounce or 28 grams. Overall length, 2.3 inches or 58.5 millimeters. The width across is exactly one inch or 27 millimeters. And the thickness of the light, not including the pocket clip, is 0.36 of an inch or 9.2 millimeters. All right, going over the performance specifications for the Wubin G2, it has a moon level setting of one lumen lasting 70 hours. It has a low setting of 15 lumens lasting six hours a medium setting of 65 lumens lasting one and a half hours, and a high of 200 lumens lasting 35 minutes. It does have a turbo mode, which will give you up to 500 lumens before it drops down to 200 lumens and should last you about 30 minutes. It is rated at a 1.5 meter drop impact resistance and although they don't give it an IP rating in the literature, they do say that it is safe that it can be submerged underwater for one hour. And that sounds like somewhere between an IPX7 and an IPX8. All right, we're going to go over the operation of the G2, and I'm going to remove it from its keychain attachment so that I can show you some of its features a little bit more closely. So let's talk about that right off of the top. So in order to attach or detach it from your keychain, it does start with a little split ring attached to my larger split ring on my key set. Then there's a little base that you just simply turn, and it locks in and lock and unlocks from that point. So this is a good time to demonstrate that it does have a magnetic tail base. So I've actually picked up my stainless steel ruler with this to show you that it does work like that. I'll also show you the pocket clip at this time, and I'm gonna feature that again in a few minutes time. The pocket clip is easily removable. It has little places on the sides where it will grab on. You can see on the sides of the light, little detents. So it's just a matter of finding the detent position and snapping it in, and then it locks on. Good size pocket clip for what this is used for. I don't necessarily think I'll put it in a pocket, maybe a shirt pocket this way, but not, not carry it in a pants pocket. But I'll demonstrate what I mean in a moment. Another close-up of the USB Type-C charging port. It's just a simple little silicone cover. It doesn't fit in super tight, but it fits in well enough for its intended purposes. 
little W there for the on off button and right beside it although very small is a tiny LED that'll indicate when it's charging when it's full and of course when it needs to be recharged so let's go over the operation of the light in order to turn the light on you do have to press down on the button it's about one second, maybe a little shorter than that, but it's not a quick tap. And the reason for that, of course, is you don't want to accidentally turn this light on while it's in your pocket. So in order to turn it on, you do have to press and hold for a second. So you can see now it's at that at lowest setting of moon. By the way, there is no direct access to moon or the turbo. Well, I guess you can go to turbo with a double tap, as I'll explain, but you do have to cycle through moon uh, low, medium, and high, and up and down. It does have memory, so whatever it, the last setting was is where it'll return to after you turn it off. So if I want to move up from moon, I just hold, press and hold the button. It'll go up, and now I'm at high, and it'll cycle back down to moon again. Now, as I mentioned, you can uh, access turbo by double tapping the button. So that's an instant access to turbo. Light is off. And again, instant access to turbo. So you can access turbo with the light on or off. It does not have a strobe. Maybe that would have been a nice feature, but I think I like the simplicity of it the way it is right now. So I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I had a bonus review that I wanted to share with you. So Wubin sent this along at the same time they sent along the G2, and this is the G3. And no, it is not a flashlight, but it is a neat little accessory to leave on your keychain that may have some value. I don't see using it very often, as usually I have something else that I have that will be more effective than this for the same purpose, but it's there if you need it. What is it? It's a knife. It's a little tiny knife, very sharp little knife, in fact. Um, I will tell you now, though, it has limited utility. What I find it most effective for is things like opening packages or cutting through something, uh, maybe like tape or, uh, you know, it'll cut through cardboard plenty easy, but it's not a real slicer and it doesn't have a whole lot of utility but it is a sharp edge that is quite sharp, in fact, and will do the tasks that you want something very, very small like this. Now, this may be the kind of thing that if I'm out somewhere and somebody asks me, do you have a knife or something that I can open this up with? Rather than grab one of my large pocket knives out of my back pocket, I might just hand them this. So it is also a pen. So to access the pen, you unscrew it, and there is a tiny ballpoint pen um, on the end of it and it there is a magnetic cap here that covers the blade over and allows you to hold on to the pen it does have a little o-ring just to protect the pen from water getting in or i suppose if it were to leak then you wouldn't have to worry about ink coming out into your pocket tiny pen yeah it is it does work it works effectively as a pen it's just not very big but again this is one of those things that you likely aren't going to use very often but you never know you may just find that you have a need for one and then you'll re remember it's on your keychain. It takes up very little to no room. And I, I want to show you what it came with because it's it's not a bad little setup. So let me just put that aside. This is the box it came in. Honestly, the box itself has some utility to me, but inside of the box, it actually came with five refills for the little uh, uh, ballpoint pen and a second one. So there are two. Now this one has I don't know what you call engraving all over it. I think it's meant to look a little bit like a, a piece of jewelry that you might hang around your neck. Again, same thing, blade and pen inside there. And it came with a little lanyard, little wrist lanyard. Again, I don't know how you would use this wrist lanyard, but it's there, I suppose, and you could attach it to something else as well. So it, the little ballpoint pen and knife set, you know, not a bad little thing. I guess that if you're going to be purchasing the G2 because you're thinking of adding something to your keychain, this wouldn't be a bad accessory to put on your keychain as well. Just before we go do some demonstrations using the G2, here in my house and just outside around my car and in the backyard, because that's probably where we're going to be using it is one of those two locations. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the versatility of having that pocket clip on the back of the light. So it occurred to me that this is more than just a way of carrying the light on your person. It's actually a way of mounting the light so that you can use it hands-free. It won't work well on a cap, 
Although I suppose if you put it on the brim of a cap, you could look straight down, but you couldn't use it to move forward through navigation. But what you can do with this is either put it in a shirt pocket on a backpack strap, or as I'll demonstrate, I'll put it on the uh, uh, neck piece of my shirt that I'm wearing, and then I can just turn this light on. I'm hands-free, and I've done this. I've walked around in the house in the dark, and it is perfectly capable of giving me all the light that I need. So it just adds to the versatility of this little light to have that pocket clip attached to it so that when you need it, it's there. Okay, now let's do a little bit of testing. All right, for this first test of the Wubin G2, I am in my gear room. I do have the light on right now, although as I look in the camera, you can't, it's not showing up on the camera, but it is enough that, well, I wouldn't trip over anything if I uh, was using it to navigate, but we can do better than that. Let's take it up to the next level. All right, now things are starting to show up a little bit. Not bad. Next level. Much better, obviously enough to move around the house easy. Lots of, uh, lots of light now. One more level. That is plenty bright for navigation or even doing any work. And of course we can still do turbo. That much brighter again. So this has plenty of light indoors. Let's head outside and see what it does outdoors. So what about outdoors? Well, this is the lowest and that's my foundation of my home. It's about 15 feet away. So yeah, actually it shows up here. I was surprised. Let's just take it up. Second lowest, medium and high. That's not bad. Now I'll just switch it into the backyard. So it's not really showing up. It is showing up that bush just off to the left there, which is about 20 feet away. But it's not reaching all the way to the backyard. It is for me, but maybe not on the camera. Let's go up to turbo. But that did. And the depth of my yard is about 60 feet, so not bad for a little tiny keychain flashlight. All right, a few closing thoughts on the Wubin G2 keychain flashlight. So as I mentioned when I opened the video up, I feel that this is actually much more versatile than just being a keychain flashlight. And I think a lot of that versatility comes with the addition of the pocket clip on the back. And as you saw earlier in the video, this is something that I can attach to a shirt, backpack strap, or any number of things to mount it so that I'm hands-free and have the light directed where I wanted it to be. I like that it has the magnetic base on it so that I could use it as a work light or stand-up light on anything that it will attach to that way. I like that it's removable yet still very secure but removable from my keychain so that I don't have to use it while it's still attached to the keychain. I like the fact that it's USB Type-C rechargeable. It has a reasonably good long runtime. I like the light that has the multiple modes of moon, low, medium, and high as well as turbo. And I like the power power of this thing. I mean, turbo 500 lumens, yes, you only get about 30 minutes of, of high intensity light, but uh, if that's a bright light, as you saw in the testing, probably medium is the setting that I would use it at most to get the most runtime out of it with the most reasonable amount of light. Yeah, actually quite a versatile little light. I actually like this so much, I expect I'll purchase another one from Wubin so that I can give it to my wife. These actually make pretty good gifts, I think, for just about anybody. But it, you know, it's everybody likes to have a flashlight on them, and when it's this small, compact, easy to attach to your keychain, why wouldn't you? You know, it's it just seems to be a perfect light for its intended purpose. What do you think about this little thing, the Wubin G3? Well, you know, I like this as well. I can't say it's something I would have purchased had I uh, had to pay for it myself. Again, thank you to Wubin for sending it to me. But it's on my keychain; takes up no space. It's there, provides me a sharp edge as well as a ballpoint pen. Now, to be honest, I have two other knives that carry my purpose and my everyday carry rotation. So this is probably not something that's gonna come out very often, but sometimes it's right there, right in your hands. It's just that easy to use. Uh, and the other thing I should mention is in the three months, or actually probably not quite three months that I've been carrying this, the little magnetic top, you might think that that would catch and drop off. It hasn't. 
So uh, I'm quite happy with that as well. Okay, that's everything I have to say about the Wubin G2 as well as the Wubin G3. If you have any questions or any comments on either of these, please put them in the comments section below. I'll be providing the information I have for these two items as well as the link where you can purchase them from Wubin in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.